Hey guys, um, today I wanted to make a, a video on universal uh, deservingness. If you can, um, just make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, leave any questions that you have uh, about the channel or uh, suggestions for future videos. I'd really appreciate it. Um, today I look a little tired. I, uh, I got up at uh, 5.30 today. I did, I'm, I'm starting a new morning routine. I, uh, I just literally watched uh, Nick's video as I was working out about uh, having uh, a morning routine and uh, it's, uh, it was a really good video, so, um, it was, but it was kind of funny. I was like, you know, I'm, uh, I'm getting up earlier because I want to have more time to be able to, to read and, and exercise and stuff like that. So I'm um, getting, getting super ramped up for the day. Now, um, so universal deservingness, I, I think that um, I, I've never really broke down a lot of uh, irrational beliefs about what I deserve until probably uh, four or five months ago. And what I really started to see was that because that I felt like I deserved things in um, for myself or from others or my life, that I had a lot of irrational beliefs in pretty, and, and pretty much uh, almost all my, my, my regular interactions. And it, it also created a lot of situations where I could get more irritated or frustrated so I'll, I'll give you a few examples. So, um, you know, I deserve to be treated a certain way by my uh, spouse or have a certain kind of treatment from them or have them do certain things for me, to have them talk to me in a certain way, um, have them, um, you know, um, maybe give me uh, sex on a regular basis or, uh, you know, maybe uh, they cook for me, whatever, right? So all of those, all of those beliefs, um, like some of them may be nice or, or great and maybe they would be appreciated, but uh, they're, they're not rational because the reality of it is, is you, there, there's no law that says that you deserve anything from anyone and, and, and no one has to do anything for you, right? And a lot of the, the other things behind those, you know, I deserve beliefs is if someone doesn't treat you a certain way that they're awful, terrible, a bad person, that you deserve better, all these things, right? And then what happens is there's this, this rigid line that you're setting expectations on the way other people should treat you all the time. And then what happens is, is it causes problems in your relationship. When you don't have all this deservingness, you don't have all of these ridiculous expectations that clog communication. Uh, I think that once I got, you know, really started breaking down those beliefs, I was able to not get as irritated or frustrated by others. Now, there are gonna be times in certain relationships where whether you deserve things or not, you have to be willing to put your foot down and be like, hey, guess what? Like, this is this is a no for me, right? Um, but not ridiculous expectations um, in, in, in relationships. I, I think that um, when you think you deserve something, especially too, um, if you have themes like uh, ROCD especially, like. Um, this can cause a lot of uh, black and white thinking, okay? Um, now, let's think about deservingness with life. So health OCD, for example, um, I, I deserve to be healthy. Um, I deserve to not be depressed. I deserve to have um, all of these things in life, uh, you know, money and, and uh, I, I, I should be, I, I have to be happy, you know, all these rigid beliefs about things that you should have about your, your life, right? Um, I think for health OCD, you know, suffers, um, you don't deserve to be healthy. Um, you don't deserve to have a certain type of um, uh, lifestyle that leaves you being healthy and free of diseases. The reality of it is, is you could die in a second. You could be walking across the street, someone hits you with their car and you never know. Driving down the highway, same thing. Someone hits you because they accidentally sneeze and they're driving and they their steering wheel hits your car and you're dead you know like um you could at, at any second you look down at your cell phone drive into oncoming traffic kill yourself um you could get cancer and just boom right um and when you have this deservingness in about your your life um it's it's hard to let life play out the way that it's supposed to without getting frustrated or upset and I, I think for me personally, I was doing a lot of uh, blaming um, on, you know, outside things. And I, I think deservingness also leads to this scenario where you're, you're, 
you're blaming the world or other people for your problems instead of maybe taking personal responsibility. Or um, also, like I said, I mean, if, if you have something happen that's really out of your control, you you tend to, you know, not let it let it play out, right? Um, the other thing for deservingness, and I was talking about like, you must have money, you must have, you know, this, you must have that. Um, when it comes to you as an individual, it's hard to accept yourself with unconditional other acceptance when you feel like you deserve so much, right? If you don't look away a certain way, act a certain way, talk a certain way, um, you don't have the certain car, the house, if you know your job doesn't go the way it's supposed to, you don't have the conversation with that one girl that you were supposed to, someone makes fun of you at work, you, de you, know, you deserve to be treated well by others, you deserve to be uh, in, a, in, the, in the perfect job, you deserve to have all of these things. And what happens is when you don't, you, know, you, you tend to put down yourself, not like yourself, uh, hate yourself, think that you're not worthy, and you know, in time, you're you're in a scenario where it's almost impossible to have unconditional um, self acceptance. And that, you know, I think that deservingness in life, universal deservingness, um, really breaking down those irrationalities helps create a lot of acceptance of the way that things are. Um, there, there is no law that says that you deserve anything. It's not gravity. It's not like you drop, you know something it's not it's not like you drop an apple and it's going to hit the ground that's that's really not how it works there is there's nothing in life that you deserve everything is just going to happen the way it does um and the sooner you accept that the sooner you'll not be let down by something that doesn't exist right so um key things with this guys for universal deserving this is when i would break it down i would write a question like um what do I think I deserve in life? And I would write down these things. Then I would say, you know, um, is there proof without a doubt that I actually deserve all of these things? Well, then no. Then I would list, no, I don't deserve this because this. Or I don't deserve this because this. No, I don't deserve. And I would put all these different things about all these things. And I'd say, okay, well, let's say that I, I, I don't get any of these things that I feel like I deserve. And even if, you know, I... Um, I don't get them. Obviously, it wouldn't be preferred, but um, it would be something that, you know, I could handle. And at the end of the day, like, um, wouldn't necessarily be the end of the world unless maybe I got cancer or something like that and then ended up killing me. Well, then I would just be dead and it wouldn't really matter. Okay. So um, um, then I would put, you know, something along the lines of what could I make happen? Let's say if I don't get all of these things that I feel like I deserve. Well, if I don't maybe have the perfect relationship or um, have a uh, 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 relationship free of, you know, maybe conflict occasionally, um, or getting, you know, um, sex the way I want to. And this is all like talking about, you know, like ROCD, you know, portion, um, that, you know, um, I could still be happy, still have a good relationship and focus on the good things about my partner that I love and enjoy, as well as the as aspects of the relationship that I enjoy and be able to have more time for myself to develop myself, work myself. Um, health OCD, what if I, uh, uh, I don't deserve to have cancer, I don't deserve to have a debilitating illness, I don't deserve to have uh, body sensations, feeling uncomfortable, being sore, having, uh, you know, pain physically or mentally. Um, well, um, even if I did have pain physically or, you know, being uncomfortable mentally or, you know, focus on any kind of body sensations, um, as well as maybe even getting a terminal illness, um, I could be uncomfortable and still live a relatively happy normal life to the extent that it wasn't something debilitating that, that killed me and even if it did when I was dead I didn't worry about living um, and when I'm dead I probably won't or what sorry when I yeah what when I wasn't born I didn't worry about living and when I die it'll probably be the same thing so um, you know um, uh, I'm trying to think of uh, another one uh, maybe uh, you know fear 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 of uh, you know what if I end up being uncomfortable and stuck forever and having these uh, constant rumination, constant uh, body sensations, and it goes on for uh, you know a really long time and causes problems with my work, my relationship, my life in general. Well, those would all be kind of sucky and uncomfortable and um, something that um, I wouldn't prefer, but you know, I could handle it and I could, um, you know, it, it, it may be challenging at times, but I could still find ways to be happy. And I look back at all the times in my life where I was chronically anxious and stuck and how I still find found times to be considerably, uh, you know, 
uh, happy and enjoy my time with others. So um, the, the reason I put that in there, just so you can kind of see, you know, some of the stuff that I've done personally for universal deservingness and how I think that um, it, it, um, it really kind of clogs the unconditional life, self, and other acceptance. So um, anyways, guys, um, short video for today. I appreciate you, and uh, I hope you all have an awesome day. Thank you.